The old coot here coming back at you with another exciting video. Remember this video is intended for entertainment purposes only. What I'm trying to say is that I'm no expert. I'm not claiming to be an expert. I'm just going to give you my experience with what I'm about to talk to you today. What I'm basically leaning at is for liability purposes, please go to your doctor. If you have any issues with tiredness, fatigue, you feel like you don't have energy, Go to your doctor because sometimes you might have some underlying condition that's more than just a, an ingredient and a supplement of what you're taking. But I'm going to give you my experience with it. So remember, this video is intended for entertainment purposes only. What I'm trying to say is that you and you alone are responsible for your own decisions. And with that being said, I'm just giving you my experience. So make sure to go to your doctor and talk about your specific situation. Okay, here's what was going on in my situation. I just had a recent blood test done where they did an electrolyte panel because I, I was going nuts trying to figure out like, what is this a Cecil fame potassium doing to my body? And in a long list of detrimental things that it's doing to my body, one of the things that it was doing was it was basically dehydrating me and the kind of two and two bro science that I put together. Yes. I'm calling it out for what it is, is that a Cecil fame potassium is relatively around 600 times the sweetness or strength of sugar. So that's why a lot of these supplement companies use it in their BCAA mix or their pre-workout or their whatever to try to get sweetening into their product because they have to they can use less of it to get the same sweetness effect of using sugar. So it costs less money, you get the idea. But what it does is in my specific situation, this is this is just me and in my body what it was doing was, was it was dehydrating me and it was pulling out specifically phosphorus, like phosphate. And that's what the electrolyte panel showed from one month to the next, to the next, to the next. So as I stopped taking this, I noticed that my phosphates started going back up again. And why is all this important? So I was feeling like low energy, right? Lack of, lack of ATP, right? Look it up do your own research, but I felt like I didn't have the energy to go through with a workout. I was getting shortness of breath. It was causing all kinds of stuff that was going on because I had low, low phosphate levels, right? So one particular instance, I actually got an IV full of, what was it? It was sodium phosphate from the doctor at the doctor's office. It's, it's a process. It takes a while. It's like a six hour thing where they slow drip phosphate or sodium phosphate into my system to kind of replenish those levels. And then waited a month, went back, did another blood test, did an electrolyte panel, and then now my, my phosphate level is slowly climbing back up. But that's how depleted of phosphate I was. So the short, quick purpose of this video, the, the basic explanation is that this is C uh, Cecil Fame Potassium in my specific situation. This is after years of taking products that had this in there my energy levels kept decreasing my in in latin or you would say like potens like the potential like the like i felt like i couldn't have or i didn't have the energy to kind of do anything like to even just the motivation to get up to walk to move like i felt like i had low energy levels i was tired i had shortness of breath you kind of get the idea the other thing is this kind, of, this kind of scared me, and this is why I kept going back month after. This is like the fourth blood test now that I've done month after month after month after stopping taking this. Is that the lower the phosphate level, the higher the calcium level. Which means that I had elevated calcium like in my blood system, you get the idea. And not going to my bones. So where the calcium is supposed to go is into your bones, right? To rebuild your bones, to give you strength. Teeth, bones, you kind of get the idea. God God forbid, like, uh, let me rephrase that. Thank goodness I have a diet that's very low in triglycerides and sugars and processed, you know, blah, 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 whatever. Because inflammation, right, is, is a direct result of a high sugar diet. So do the bro science math, right? I, and I'm going to talk about me specifically. If I was eating a high sugar diet, and I had a high level of calcium in running through, throughout my blood system, 
And one of my arteries, blood vessels, whatever became inflamed, right? Because of all, all the side effects of that inflammation. Guess what? Calcium goes to try to repair the blood vessel and boom, now you got a clot or the beginnings of a clot, right? Pl arterial plaque, you kind of get the idea. So thank goodness I stopped taking this. My calcium levels are now leveling out. My phosphate levels are increasing and plateauing and leveling out to where they should be. My calcium is getting out of my bloodstream and back into the bones where it's supposed to be. So there's a whole host of other things that are going on, right? It's not just, I'm just pointing out the key points of the purpose of this video. So to quickly recap, if you want to fast forward to all your buddies, hey, this is what he really means. Acesulfame potassium has many detrimental side effects. One of those is it depletes the phosphorus or phosphate, or it was depleting the phosphorus or phosphate in my bloodstream. So phosphate levels were dropping, calcium levels were increasing, and then you can kind of do the math from there. So to correct the situation, all I had to do is just stop taking this stuff or, or product supplements that had this in there. Now I'm back to normal. Thank goodness after four months. So keep that in mind. I hope this video out there helps someone. With that being said, I will put links to some good stuff that I, as far as I know, doesn't have that in there down below in the description and also in the comment section. Check those links out on the Amazon storefront or my Amazon storefront. I'm Neil Coot. Let me know if you got something out of this video. Hit that like button. Let me know in the comments section if you brought this information to your doctor and told them about it. Maybe your doctor is a little more supplement forward, you know, bodybuilding forward, health forward, you know, that kind of vibe. And let me know what your doctor thought about your specific situation and what your experience was. And I'll catch you on the next exciting video.